the Joe Rogan experience. How much uh, training did you have to do physically for that? Oh, man, I had to start. So it was heavy because I, I'd done um, a film called The Inside with Michael Mann. Yeah, I was going to ask you about that, and, too, whether um, you started smoking cigarettes before or after that film. Oh, way before. Way before. <laughs> and I know all about the negativities involved in, in the process, and it doesn't stop me. So it just goes to show how potent it is as a drug. <laughs> um, yeah, so and I'd, I'd basically just stopped all exercise to try and sort of get into the shape of the guy that I was playing, you know. And um, and I, I met Jeffrey Wigand, the guy that I was playing. Um, and it was a funny thing because <laughs> Michael Mann was convinced that Jeffrey was a, an expert golfer. And so I'd been doing, you know, these golf sessions and stuff, you know. And I met him at a golf course and took him to the driving range. And he was not an expert golfer. And I asked Michael, where did you get that impression from? He said, well, the way he talks about it, I said, ah, cool, cool. So I used that too as, you know, as part of the personality of the guy. The guy thought his golf game was way better than it really was. <laughs> it's just an interesting little, you know, detail. So there's one conversation where golf comes up and you can see there's like a little color comes up in his cheek because he wants to defend himself or, 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 or big himself up or whatever. It's just absolute minor detail of no concern to anybody else except me but it amused me you know um but in that conversation you know and i asked him some pretty tough questions and you know probably you know at my age now questions i would never ask somebody in that situation but you know i was you know younger and and uh you know uh had that kind of confidence <laughs> um and i kind of crossed into some territory that wasn't comfortable for him and i made him cry you know, and he didn't want to cry, but he was sitting off opposite me, and he was sort of like emotionally affected. And I was, man, I've, I have to honor this man. I have to mm. put every effort I can into making sure that I tell his story the right way around. You know, so um, then I met Ridley, and I was coming off that film, and I'd made a decision at the beginning because we kept like cutting my hair and dying, and we've. we've bleached it seven times but it wouldn't behave like an old person's hair you know we could comb it into place and then the next day it would go <laughs> you know and we were we, we took the hairline back shaving the hair back and everything I mean I just looked so fucking weird and at a certain point I just said to Michael Mann I said just give me a wig this is just crazy you know I'll shave my head just get me a wig I'll wear the wig because then I'm, my hair is going to be exactly right you know mm-hmm and that's what we did. So when I met Ridley, I was maybe 35 or 40 pounds heavier than I'd been on LA Confidential, which was the last movie that he'd seen me in. I was bald and I uh, had a really weird sort of suntan because of wearing the wig. <laughs> so my face had some, but my head was white, you know. <laughs> and I don't know how he could possibly have ever seen me <laughs> as the character. Um, but yeah, that first conversation I had with him and I said, when are you starting? And he's like January and I was like, that's about three months, you know? So it's 35 pounds. Yeah. And fine muscles. <laughs> <You know? laughs> when you're doing a character, whether it's Braddock or the gentleman from the insider and you're playing an actual human being, it, it, that must ha come with another, it, it's another level of responsibility, right? Yeah. Because you have, especially the insider. Yeah. Because that that was the first film where I had saw that kind of changed my perspective on things and made me openly consider the idea that a corporation would have someone assassinated right. if they were going to affect their business. Mm -hmm. And I, I saw that movie. I remember seeing that movie going, Jesus Christ. And it, it took me down a rabbit hole of reading about the history of the tobacco industry and lobbyists and what they had done to try to obscure the fact yeah. that it was causing cancer and addicting people and all the chemicals they'd put into those things. You're, you're playing a guy who risked his life to, to tell us, to let everybody else know, mm -hmm. hey, there's some nefarious forces involved in this business. It's not as simple as they're just selling you cigarettes. They, they're, they're doing some shit. Yeah. Yeah, well, like the responsibility is the right word. You know, that experience that I was um, sharing with you where I sat in front of him and I asked him some tough questions I could, and I pushed a button emotionally. What was and, it about? And I could see he was still affected by it. And it was about his family and, and uh, the question, you mean? Yes. Yeah. Um, 
it was about the effect of the situation on his family. And that took him to a, a place and I could see him just get, you know, emotional. I realized he still, all these years later, is carrying this around, you know? So it was a big thing for him to do. Yeah. As you say, he risked everything in his life, risked his professional reputation, the health and safety of his family, you know, to put that information in front of us. The weird thing for me about all of that is that there's this legal loophole kind of situation you get into where if you admit something is unsafe, then you're liable for the fact that you peddled something that was unsafe. Because there's a whole lot of things that you can do to make these less uh, potent in terms of how they damage you, you know? You can take out the chemicals, you can return the tobacco to its more natural state, you know, but we don't do any of that because that would be admitting that it's an unsafe product, uh. you know? And it opens up a whole bunch of more legal bullshit.